Yo, what is up, bros? This is Umbro Manara. What? Throwing down something that I have not done for quite some time. I get asked a lot about it. And that is playing a full conquest with World Conqueror 4. So, we have went back to the vanilla version of the game. I have not played this in so long that I don't really even remember what generals I have. I don't even remember buying Runestead, actually. Which is odd because I remember buying Rokoskovsky. I remember playing with him. I just... I don't remember Runestead. So yeah, I think I got all the important tech level maxed out. Yeah, I didn't do those. That's not done. Or that. But all the good stuff. Infantry, Navy, Artillery. I think I've done all that stuff. Yep. Alright, so... If you read the title, which I'm sure you did, you know exactly where I'm headed with this full episode. Germany, 1939. I will only be using my German generals. So the reason I picked this, and if you haven't been around um, like a year ago, probably, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know why. But I... Played Germany 1939 already. But I did it in a series. And I did it with no generals and no tech level. And it took forever. I think it was like 10 or 11 episodes it took me to get through this. And if you don't remember what was going on, uh, when this was first released it was only on iOS. Right? We're used to Easy Tech doing that. So I bought some crapper, uh, I think it was a 4S, like 30 bucks off a local buy sell trade site, just so I could play World Conqueror 4. And I didn't want to buy generals and upgrade tech level because I knew I was going to be playing this mainly on Android. So that's what led to the German campaign being no generals, no tech level. So I have, I have bad memories of this campaign. So when people, you know, keep asking, do it, do a full episode. I was just like, I, I want to play through this again. I want to do like, like a speed run with. You know, whatever tech level I have now and whatever generals I have now. And so here we are. Already given it to Netherlands and Poland. And surprisingly enough, if you watch my content a lot, I did not forget about the small wolf pack this time. Somehow I always forget about Donuts and the small wolf pack you're given. Dating back to like World Conqueror 3 days. So we're just following. Looking more like the old World War 1 plan for the invasion of France. Going high. We're not even messing with the Yardines. gonna take a while before I can get one of my generals I've purchased down. Alright, Fridge. Lieb, you got him, bro. It's a Lieb only Southern France offensive. This feels weird. Like playing this after so long. I'm trying to remember like the last time I played the vanilla version. I've just been playing so many mods. 
I, I can't even remember. I don't. It wasn't a conquest. I think it was like one of those doing the campaign missions with no generals thing. Which I need to. I need to do those again. Out of out of all the uh, comments I get on older videos, a lot of them come from that series I did with doing the missions with no generals. People saying. Thank you, it helped out so much. Other people being like, your tech level's high. Well, yeah, that was the point. I had high tech level, but I wasn't using generals. You might not have had as high of tech level, but you're using generals. So I was hoping it would equal out. Manstein. So... Actually, there's a few things I need to do on this. I never finished uh, the battles and exercises. I don't know how far away I am. I can't be that far away because I only have one more monument to unlock. So I must be pretty close. Oh, you know what? That's another thing I remember about the campaign I played with no generals, no tech level. I think it was like, at, it was at least two episodes for sure. And I'm thinking it might have even been more. It might have even been like three episodes. I was stuck trying to get across the English Channel. They were just, they were just not having it. And also, I'm taking this, and I made sure to take this, because I also got stuck in the Baltic forever. I couldn't get out of the Baltic. Once I finally got out of the Baltic, I couldn't take out all the spam in the English Channel. It was, it was just, it was, it was bad. A boom! Netherlands goes out. A boom! Belgium goes out. So... Yeah, it was rough. This is a rough time in my life. It kind of reminded me of the Luxembourg Axis and Allies mod campaign I played in a way. You know what? I will link at the end of the video. I will link both those uh, Axis and Allies and. Um, the no generals, no tech level, Germany 39. If you weren't around for the Axis and Allies one, that's a pretty old one. That's dated further back than playing this with no generals. It was. It was on the list of the, the most crazy conquests I ever played. I'll pick the one that look that I'll pick the one to link at the end of the video that has the most crazy looking thumbnail. Like the enemies were I think I think at some points they got up to 8 tiles deep that I had to fight through. And I had just this huge I had a meat shield of infantry that spanned from Scandinavia to Italy with just a crap load of artillery behind that. And I grind and I grind and I grinded. Till finally I was able to break through at a point I think it was near Minsk. And I was able to just spill out and surround everybody and it all turned from there, but the, the build up was hell. Oh, Boom, Yugoslavia. Now we'll go ahead and finish Greece. Not too, sh not too shabby so far. Romania's helping out. Good to see the Romanian bros helping out the German bros. The Finnish bros helping out the German bros. 
Different from what you usually get, right? Your allies never help. I would like to max out. You know, playing, I enjoy playing this. Honestly, I, I kind of missed it. Just because the base game is kind of like more tech technical than the mods. Although I do love the mods too. Don't get me wrong. But maybe I should switch in between more often. We're gonna give Leeby Boy some help. And uh, Poland is not going to make it past next round. Except this time around, Russia took no part in the dismantling of Poland. It was all German. All German all the time. Oh! Monty, Monty, Monty. Caught you at sea, bro. Wait until next round. The German U-boats are going to have their way with your neither regions. Boom! Paris goes down. That's always like a milestone moment. Your London, your Paris, your Moscow. And then after that it gets kind of boring until, say... Washington, New York. A oh, boom! Poland goes down! I can't... I'm trying to remember while I'm playing this the last time I did a full conquest. It definitely wasn't with the vanilla version. I think it was... It was like some... You know what I think it was? And I could be wrong. When Putin got reelected, I think I did a special uh, full Russian playthrough with 2018 mod or something like that. Maybe Korean's Dream mod. I don't remember. It was one of those. The Blitzkrieg is alive and well. Look at this. We're just steamrolling. Steamrolling, kids. The last full episode I did with Vanilla World Conqueror 4. I, I couldn't even say. I have no idea. Get wrecked, Monty. Kind of reminds me back in the day when I used to play World Conqueror 3 and... I used to take, you guys used to request things, and then I would put each request into this, like, a, like this Tupperware bowl, and I'd shake it up and pull, what was it, like, three out, and then I'd have you guys vote which one you wanted to see. That was like the old school, that was Bruminati Alpha version. The good old days. Much simpler time. That was before I even knew about mods. I played World Conqueror 3 forever before I found out there even was such thing as mods for it. And it was only through the, like, the comments I was just like, what are these people talking about mods? What are these mods? And I went to the European War for forum. Oh, boom! Montgomery goes down. I was just like... Noise. Started downloading them all, doing reviews, checking them out. It was an exciting time when I found out there was mods. I remember World Conqueror 3, how I got medals because I was too cheap to buy them. Once you unlock the, uh, the wonders, there was like three wonders that gave medals. Like one gave one, one gave three, maybe, or was it two and three or two? Two and five. I don't remember. But anyways, 
After so many ticks, it gave medals. I don't exactly remember how it went. But you had to leave your phone on. Like, the game had to be running for it to, uh... You know, for you to be able to collect medals. I used to leave my phone on at night. Just turn the game on, the home screen, turn down the volume, and just leave it on. Wake up and collect, like, I don't know, it was like 80 medals, maybe 60, 60, 80 medals a night. There was a cap on it, so you just couldn't leave it open indefinitely. They capped out. But I think the cap was right around a good six hours. So I fall asleep, wake up, have my medals cap. Already, we're getting an early start to the U.S. landings. Graziani out helping. Everybody is so helpful. And I will be using some heavy air power because we are just doing this kind of like, um, kind of in the neighborhood of a speed run. But not really that speedy. I mean, I'm kind of taking my time, but I'm not going to not use air power missiles and whatever. I guess not missiles, but strategic bombing. Model's afraid to go into Stalingrad. Model don't want any part of Stalingrad. He's like, I, I think I had something to do uh, further east. Turns off his radio. So I guess... Clear out the Baltic Sea of this crap. Clear out the North Sea, English Channel, and try to get... Try to get landed... I really don't think I need more than Liebenmanstein. Nice. Yeah, if this was, um, if this was the other playthrough I did, to get this far, shit, I think I was on episode 5 or 6. It was ridiculous. Oh, I just thought of something. Man, I'm glad I didn't forget that. I just thought of something. We are Germans. We are attacking the Russians. And we're about to take Moscow. I think the dance crew is going to have to reunite once again. Now there's been some infighting, you know. Lieb wanted to go out and do his own thing. He thought he would, he thought he could do like a solo act. He came. He came back to the to the dance crew. We let him back in. We thought Lieb was the weakest link, anyways. He didn't have the skills that the other people did. I'm wondering how this is going to go over with you, bros. This should be like a little nostalgia for you guys watching this. It's been so long since I, one, played vanilla, two, did full episode. Might bring, bring back some good memories of the, the olden days. The much simpler times. Oh, speaking of simpler times, Hearts of Iron 4 that I'm playing right now, I am never doing a conquest where, uh, here we go, boom, I'm Moscow, I am never doing a conquest. Where I'm taking on all those EU countries and NATO 
It is such a pain in the ass, because even when you get them to capitulate, they still have a huge navy, they still have a bunch of troops until you get the faction to capitulate. It's taken me so many in-game years to build up a navy big enough to even be able to land. It took like three years in-game to be able to get a get the English Channel cleared out enough. Or, uh, yeah, it take me another two years to get is it the Sea of Japan cleared out to be able to land. It's kind of like the power of the Chode's power is kind of waning a little bit. I mean, they have been at war for like 30 straight years. So I needed a nice, I needed a nice long break from that. With a full conquest. What I do wonder actually is how, how many people actually sat down, chill out, and just watch the entire conquest when I do full episodes. Or is it more of a you watch like the first... This is what I envision happening. You watch till like... Boom! A grease goes down. You watch till France falls. And then you uh, fast forward till Moscow falls. And then you probably fast forward until the U.S. gets invaded. That's, that's what I envision. Man, the Navy is so different in the regular game over mods. I forgot how much, how different it is. Just couldn't finish off Norway. Oh, boom, Norway. I'm thinking London falls next round. Oh, boom, London goes down. Cheeky Canadians think then they're going to come in and help their bros out. Uh, got a Manstein Eisenhower meetup. Luckily, they didn't have Deavers defending the coast. Very, very lucky on that one. And we got India coming in, taking stuff. Speaking of Andy, I need to do the last, the last T-Series episode. Finally find out where PewDiePie is hiding. So how long have we been going? Tw 20 minutes? I have no idea how long this is going to take. I know, like, the fastest conquest you can play is, like, a, a NATO country. In, like, the, the later years. I think you can haul ass, like, playing with Greece or... Who else? Turkey? I mean, we pretty much got an insta win in the U.S. Guderian Manstein already landed. We got Rommel going into Africa. Surprise.
Damn, Italy. Where are you bros going? I want to... Looks like they're going to have some fun somewhere. I want to be a part of it. We're already getting some really decent income. Probably get a little bit heavier on the air campaign as we're moving now. Boom! A look at the Reich! Operation Sea Lion was just a walk in the park. Canada gets their first taste of Blitzkrieg. Round 20. I guess they're going to Africa with me. Nice. Rommel and his Italian bros are going to be frolicking gaily in the African sands. Alright, as fast as we're moving in the U.S., these guys here in the U.K. are probably out of the game after this. By the time they take out the UK, we're going to be halfway through the US. We're coming up on 30 minutes. Doesn't seem like it's been that long. I remember doing full episodes that were way over an hour long, like an hour 20. Grueling. Like I needed rest and recuperation afterwards. I need to head to, uh, I don't know, Southeast Asia, go to Bangkok. I do remember, like, in World Conqueror 3, I think the only money I ever spent was on Manstein. I don't ever remember buying medals. Because I thought to myself, I got these, I got these wonders, um... If I don't just, you know, leave my phone open at night, then I'm just an impatient ass. I'm just losing money, spending money for no reason. But World Conqueror 4, I obviously bought Main Stein again. And I bought a metal pack. I think it was like, was it 6 or $7 one? I don't remember the prices. But I did that so I could put rumor on everybody. And get Rumor up to, I think, what I was trying to do was get Rumor on all the generals that had it up to level 3. Because I remember I was trying 
I was trying to do the the final base mission. And uh, I hadn't, I mean, I bought some good generals, but they were not upgraded at all. So it was still pretty hard even with the generals I had because they weren't upgraded. And I don't think my tech was very good either. I think I was do, I was trying to do the final mesh mission without even having um, the assault on armor. Where you get the secondary fire if you've killed something. So yeah, it was just it was just a bad setup. So I put rumor on. I remember what really helped out because of the the way the mission was set up was putting rumor on Nimitz. You wouldn't even think that like, that was a good idea, but Nimitz can hit. I believe it was Rokoskovsky, which was the the hardest city to take, and it came towards the end, and your all your generals were already all weak. And yeah, I pulled Nimitz up in there and just rumored the crap out of him. Yeah, those bros in the UK are definitely out of it. Nice. Damn you, Mongolians! Look at what we have just done. We have linked up with our Japanese bros. Oh, boom, Mongolia goes down. Imagine, like, the joyous occasion if that actually happened. Like Germany takes out Russia, they're still heading east after Moscow. Although I never think it was the plan to go all the way through. Wasn't they were it was planned to stop at the Urals or something, maybe? I, I don't remember the exact you know, final plan. But just to meet up with your Japanese bros after that many years of war. That'd have been some cra that'd have been a crazy ass moment. And like I normally do, boom, Egypt goes down. Thanks, Italian bros. Uh, I'm just going to bomb the crap out of southern Africa, move Rommel along the north. Should, should seem pretty familiar to him. You know what? Um, we're getting close. China, US, Africa. Oh, Australia, that's going to be a that's going to take some time to get there. But hopefully, by the time I get to Australia, I can, I have enough uh, level that I can start building some missile technology. Hopefully. Damn, look at the Italians. I'm telling you. When have I ever seen my Italian bros helping out so much? 
Linby! Greetings, bro! Linby, meet Guderian. He thinks you're just a little bit fruity. Take out the Arabian Peninsula with air power. I guess I, I said Rommel in the north, but I kind of ended up sending him through like a central. I get it. I do change my mind from time to time. Nice. Look at that. Beautiful. Coming up on uh, 40 minutes. Not too bad. I was thinking before I started this, it would probably take around 50. That was just some random guess I had I was thrown out there. Taste the theory of the Luthfafa air campaign. Dropping in some Falsham Yager. Okay, we need a few bros for Italy. I mean, Italy. India. Linby, no! Linby. FN chat for Linby. Oh, I did. That is not. That is not where I moved him. I did not move him on to the landmine field. I did not. I moved him past it. I don't know why he wanted to commit suicide like he did. It doesn't make sense. But I just I just want to get that out that the chain of command did not send him onto the landmine field. He did that on his own. You know what? I've decided I'm just gonna let Rommel do something new. I always send Rommel across the north. Or a little bit into the south. He's gonna go... He's gonna go all the way south. He wants to see new sites. He's sick of seeing... Oh, boom! China goes down! He's sick of seeing the same old sites. Egypt, Morocco... Libya, he's, you know what, it's, it's old news. He's been there, he's done that. Now 
The Soviet Union is just hanging on by the yak herding community in the north. You know, the yaks are not going to herd themselves. Although there is a war going on, there's still yaks that needed herd. Herded. Is herded a word? Maybe. All right, we are officially past 40 minutes now. Oh, boom. Middle East has been cleared. Rawl is enjoying the new sights. Although, apparently... Oh, boom! The Soviet Union goes down. He did not hear about Ebola. I don't think Ebola was first recognized to like 19... 60. Ebola, I think the first one was Ebola Marburg. It was first identified in a German lab. Guderian's going to be our Southeast Asian clear. Well, Rommel, I don't think there's anything left for you to do except enjoy your vacation. You deserve it, bro. You deserve it. So we need um, level seven. Get some strategic bombing going on. I can't handle just the bombing. That gets old. Round number 30. About to wrap this conquest up. Rommel's doing new things. Became a naval general all of a sudden. Taking on a sub. Is there nothing Rommel cannot do? We still got the grueling Australia to take out. And we're not even close to level 7 yet. There you go. Japanese allies been helping me out a little bit. Doing me a solid. Oh, this is going to be grueling. Well, at least I get a break because I run out of money. Lack of money break. Ok, 
Go ahead and work this guy down some. Oh, round of 31. My almost dead Manstein who decided to just hop on a minefield. Thought it was a good idea. We need to send, we need to give him the link to the BetterHelp website. Oh, boom, Canada goes down. Well, we're almost halfway to seven. I don't even really care about the missiles at this point. I just want the strategic bombing. Oh, you know what else? I just thought of this. We gotta take Midway and Hawaii. Which is going to suck because we can't reach it with air power. At least paratroop units. I think we can hit it with missiles. But we can't capture it. Thanks, Japan. We're not doing anything. Coming up on 50 minutes. This is about where I thought we would be when this wrapped up. Mm. Yeah, that sucks. We're going to have to journey out in the middle of the Pacific. Noise. North America has been cleared. All right. Oh, you know what? We might have level seven. Next round, we can start our strategic bombing campaign of Australian territory. Come on, give me that level seven. Nice. Let's go ahead and use missiles, I guess. We do have a lot of technology and industrial. We might as well spam missiles. Remember back, bros, I've brought this up before. Old school World Conqueror 3. Taking out Australia. The general that's on Sydney or Brisbane. Such a pain in the ass. Taking Brisbane with that general on it was like trying to take Chongqing. Just something you dreaded. Because it was usually, you know, 
it was at that point where you already knew that you were going to win. Usually. It was just you were you're like mop up duty. Except the mop up duty was going to take a long time and be a pain in the ass. There we go. We're set up. Should be able to knock the British out and the Australians out. Next round. Maybe India here. I didn't look to see if they had any ports. I don't remember seeing that they did. Oh, boom! India goes down. Take that. Round thirty five. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Oh, boom, Australia goes out. Oh, boom, the UK goes out. And that leaves a but one country standing in the way of the Third Reich. I can think of no man better suited for the job than Mr. Gudarian. Make us proud with your naval landing skills. Oh, bro. They took my territory. I was just about to, to say boom, right as I seen. I should have... I don't know where my mind was at. Still pissed off at the Japanese, I think, for taking Midway from me. Alright, is this going to be it? Quick look-see. Uh, Okay, what am I missing here? Oh! Cheeky bastards. A boom! The U.S. goes down. Took us 55 minutes and 44 rounds for the Third Reich World Domination. All right, bros. I did it. You've been asking for it. There's your full episode. If you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Slap the like and subscribe with the notification bell on your way out. And I will spec your for next upload. Peace. Brumanati out.